What's up YouTube? Brian here. This is my 12 gallon tank and this is the last time you guys are going to see this tank. So I'm going to give a little overview of what I got going on and uh, yeah. Then today I'm going to shut down this tank, clean it up a bit and uh, it's going to go to my buddy. And all these fish are gonna live with him. So we're gonna talk about what's in here, do kind of a post-mortem on this tank, and uh, we'll also be talking about the guppies downstairs because I'm getting rid of those today as well. So you can see in here, wow, it looks like I've got some mold growing on the substrate. I just noticed that. That's probably not good, I need to clean that up. Anyway, there's some pretty big mystery snails in this tank. I think there's like eight or something. There is a decently large bristlenose uh, green dragon plico on the bottom of that leaf. I don't know if you can see him very well. There is my old buddy, this balloon belly molly. He's my oldest fish. He's been, I think, in every single tank I've ever had almost. I've moved him through a bunch of different tanks. He's survived all my mistakes, all the accidents, everything. He's my oldest fishy friend. He doesn't actually have a name, but I like him a lot. Then I have a male guppy that I bred right there. Got the thread fin, half black, and maybe a couple other traits. I think he has dumbo ears, I can't really see. Anyway, he's one of the better guppies I've bred. Decided to try to save at least a little bit of the strain I was working on and give it to my friend. I gave a couple other males to one of my other friends who had a ton of like the iridescence all down their flank over the top of the half black mutation, which was really, really cool, but I forgot to take footage of them. Then we have our fire red dwarf gorami there in the background. He's also a pretty cool fish, but he's very camera shy. I've talked about that before. That's probably the best footage we're gonna get of him. And yeah, that's all the fish in this tank. It's a small tank, so, and my friends are new to the hobby. I didn't want to give them anything too crazy. So there's four fish and snails. I'm probably gonna put some, or I'm not probably, I'm gonna put the shrimp from the tank downstairs in here as well. And I need to, clearly I need to like clean the gravel and do a water change and stuff. But since the tank is getting drained today, I'll probably just, do it then. So next we're gonna go look at the guppies. You guys can see what I managed to achieve with my super amateur guppy breeding program. I learned a lot and uh, I think I have some good ideas about what I'm gonna do next. So let's go look at that. I just pulled out all the plants and wood so that we could see the fish better. This is a 16 gallon tank. And almost all these are guppies I've bred. Um, the f thread fin females, like this one right here in the front, who has a humongous caudal fin so she can't swim properly. She was bought as a younger uh, guppy and I raised her up to this point. There's another thread fin who's much more impressive right there. She's my favorite female, I think. Um, just nice thick back. I'm trying to get it focused on her, sorry. It's not working very well. Yeah, you can see her in the back now. Nice thick uh, straight back, big and fat. Nice long thread fins, but not too big so she can't swim right. She's a great breeder. She's definitely my, she's pregnant right now it looks like. She's definitely my favorite female. 
Um, <clears throat> these males are all my my breeding. Uh, I think she's mine. All the other females are mine, the smaller ones. Yeah, and I think the one with the tumor I actually bought a long time ago. She's pretty old. Anyway, my goal with this was for a half black pastel or a tuxedo guppy, whatever you want to call it, that had <clears throat> iridescence completely down the flanks, Dumbo ears, and some kind of nice big fins. I was actually starting to be successful with some of my newest males, like this guy right here. It's really good if I can get a close up on him without the zoom getting messed up, or the focus rather. He's got some pretty nice iridescence on his flanks, but he's not the best. Let me see if I can find a really good one. Where is he? Uh, I don't know. I'll keep looking for him. If I see him, we'll zoom in on him. So, yeah, I had a few really good males. The thing is, I've already given most of them away. There's one in that tank upstairs that's pretty decent. But I just saw in here, he's actually not the one that I intended to put in that tank. I think it's this one. Let me see. Come on, focus. Eh, he's okay. Oh, there we go. There's a camera. See how he has the shimmer all down his flanks? That's what I was going for, but like, to an intense degree. Yeah, that's probably the best one. Um, right there in the front, this guy that's still in this tank. I gave away three of the best males to my friend. One of them was pretty much like completely iridescent over his half black, which was really sweet. But I wasn't thinking about it and I didn't film it. That one's pretty good actually. He'll probably get better as he matures. He's got the Dumbo ear, the black Dumbo ear, the thread fin, and the shimmer. Anyway, um, I was starting to be successful, but now I have to shut this down, obviously, which kind of stinks. But I do plan on breeding guppies back in the States once I get it set up. I'm leaving in like 10 days, so do not despair, YouTube friends. There will be guppies in the future. Alright, well, I need to... Yeah, look at her. Her caudal fin is way too big. She can't swim right. I mean, she's she seems fine. She's been that way ever since I've had her. And, you know, she's still alive. But I always see her, like, resting on stuff because she's tired from dragging that humongous fin around. Whereas her sister over here is, like, way better. Anyway, um... So all these fish are getting sold today. You're not gonna see them again. I'm really glad I, <coughs> glad I got into guppies. I think they're probably my favorite fish. They're definitely what I'm gonna start with when I get back to the States and get her get good set up and settled in. So say goodbye to my amateur guppy breeding experiment. My first guppy breeding experiment. You can see some of the products. There's one random female from another tank. That was my mosaic line that ended up getting uh, columnars and all dying in like a day. And she's the only one who survived. And when I shut down the other tank, I had to put her in here. That's why she looks different. All right, time to keep working on breaking down the tank. Stay tuned for more. Oh, I forgot to mention the shrimp. You can see one right there on the sponge filter. Uh, those are going in the 12 gallon upstairs and they're gonna go to my friend's house. There's another one, a littler one. There are some babies in here as well. I think they're all hiding because they just freaked them out by taking everything out of the tank. But I saw one while I was taking stuff out. There's like some tiny fry in here too. That I don't even know. Uh, there's two more on the bottom of the sponge filter. I don't know if you can see them on the camera very well. But they're there. 
So yeah, I gotta catch all these guys out and go put them upstairs. So that's what's happening now. All right, guys, we got all the shrimp in this measuring cup. I'm gonna take them upstairs. And they're gonna go on the 13 gallon. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six adults. And a few babies. I don't know, one of you probably knows the species. I think they're a mono shrimp, but I don't really know. Could be wrong. All I know is they eat hair algae and they're awesome. And that they cost 10 cents a piece. Alright, let's take them up. What's up YouTube? At the fish market, about to get rid of the guppies. Just wanted to show off this saltwater display tank because they have a sea turtle. Only in China. I'm pretty sure this is like illegal. At least, definitely illegal in America. It's probably illegal here as well. <laughs> but there's a sea turtle in this tank. Poor guy. Anyway, you can buy sea turtles as well as all the rest of this craziness. We're gonna go sell the guppies now, so I'm gonna pause the camera and we'll come back in the other shop. I just had to film these because I don't even know what these are. These things are crazy looking. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Does anybody know what these are? Some kind of puffer maybe? If you know what they are, comment down below. I've never seen them before. The yellow ones. They look almost like a freshwater trigger fish or something. It's crazy. All right, guys, we're at the shop. Let me get my bag here and get the guppies out. Let's see them. Actually, let me pause the camera and get the knot. Oh, here's the guppies. I don't know if you can see them. There's a ton in there. I'm gonna give them to the lady. Oh, mm, Alright guys, we're breaking down the 12 gallon. We've got the shrimp, the snails, garami, the pico, and everybody's about to get put in a bucket. And then we're gonna transport the tank to my friend's house and set it back up. What's up YouTube? I'm at my friend's house. I just gave him my school corridors out of my discus tank. You can see some of them there under the wood. This is Robert's tank. Some of you might remember it. I showed it on my channel when he first started. He had a freshwater lobster which died uh, some while ago. He's got a school of rummy nose, a killifish, some kind of I think it's a Fundalo Fanchex, Nigeriensis or something, I'm not sure exactly, but it's a killifish. And then I just gave him my nine corridors. There's seven bronze corridors, and uh, one albino, and one um, stir-by corridor. I'm hoping they'll do better in his tank. Some of these guys have injuries from a long time ago that have never healed. They're like missing parts of their fins or almost all of them have damaged barbells. I'm hoping that on this soft substrate he has that they will heal up because they just never healed on my sand substrate. And uh, yeah, he helped me out by taking them. Otherwise I couldn't find anyone else to take them. I would have had to just kill them or something, so. They seem to be doing pretty good in here. It's a couple hours after we put them in and they're swimming all over the place, schooling up. Got the big old apple snail right there as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. The only ones left in my house are the discus. And the uh, geophagus and the cupid cichlid. They're in the tank with the discus. There's the stir by Corey back in the corner with that bronze. Alright guys, that's it for now. See you later.